what else do I remember? Um, oh my gosh, what else do I remember? <laughs> Hi, I'm Danielle McDonald. I play Helen on The Tourist on Stan. And today I'm gonna go through some Instagram selfies with you and see what I remember of them. <laughs> that was in New York. That was in upstate New York. On the set of Every Secret Thing, which was one of the first, like, it was my first, like, lead in a movie, to be honest. So yeah, there you go. That was also from every single thing that with, that's with Diane Lane, who played my mom. That was the premiere at Tribeca many years ago. Julia Garner, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, ironically, is not like on a set. There's something called the Sundance Director's Lab and directors come out and then you um, workshop films. They like put you up in these houses. And so we were roommates for a month. So we lived together for a month in like Utah and it was so, so fun, and we became inseparable that entire month. Like, everyone was like, if they were looking for me or Julia, it was like, where are they? <laughs> they would just go to the other person, but she, she's incredible. She's, yeah, she was great. That was also years ago, that was 2014 as well. Oh, yep, yeah, that was the day we wrapped Dumplin'. That's the director, Anne, and Odea Rush, who, was my co-star and she's still a good friend. I spoke to her yesterday. Yeah, that was the last day of that, which felt monumental because that was a really all-encompassing film for me. I barely slept for like the whole time we shot it, but it was absolutely incredible. It was like one of the best experiences. That was my first Oscars ever. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, that's the first and only Oscars I've ever been to, which was very exciting and kind of crazy. So I was in a short film um, that was actually nominated and it won. I remember my feet hurting, also the dress, also jewelry that cost more than anything I would ever own like on me. And I was like, I, I have anxiety wearing expensive jewelry. <laughs> I remember meeting people. That, that, was, that was cool. I just remember Nicholas Holt coming up to me at a bar, at the bar, and he was like, hi. And I was like, hi. <laughs> it's like I was standing there on my own. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. It's like, I think he said that he liked a film that I was, and I was like, thank you. I really like you too, like your stuff. I, I just sounded stupid. I, cause I was like, I don't know what to say. Um, but that was cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we have the tourist and we've come full circle. Yes, yeah. The director, I think, was like, the script always said I was asleep in the car and he said, it'd be really great if we could just like kind of have you up against the glass. And I was like, what is the craziest thing I can do? And that was it. And it ended up in the, in it. And I'm so happy it did. I feel like Helen's kind of gone on a long journey and she's come out the other side and now she's someplace entirely different. But uh, it's always great to step into Helen's shoes. It feels special, yeah. I love working with Jamie. I'll always, you know, if Jamie ever asks me to work with him again, I will say yes in a heartbeat because honestly, he's just, he's so easy to work with. He's a joy to work with. He's really, really fun and funny and full of life. And we're always on the same page about work. And so it's really, really just so easy and a really good time. And like, we've got a good trust built up. So love working with him. Getting to work with Jamie again, honestly, is one of the highlights. I was like, I'm so happy to work with him again. I think we both love kind of we running lines. Honestly, this sounds ridiculous, but so I love the writers, Harry Williams and Jack Williams. They're really, really great. I love their writing. There was never meant to be a season two, honestly. It was a mini series. It was only ever meant to have one season. I, you'd have to ask them. I don't know that they would, if they would ever even consider a season three or what. Um, also, if they ever say, hey, will you do this even for a day? I'd say yes instantly, because I love them so much. That was honestly the most exciting part.